Mr. Chairman, I would like to yield my time to the witness, Reverend David Hill. That's fine, but I remind the witness he's limited to five minutes. Thank you, Congressman Smith, Mr. Chairman, for allowing me these last five minutes. You ever been on one of those sightseeing tours they have here in Washington? You know, the kind where they take you to see all the monuments? Yes, I believe most of us have visited the city's major attractions. Maybe I ought to think about going again. Because those, how did, how did you put that? Uh, attractions are here for a reason. And I almost missed it. I don't know how, because you can't throw a rock in this city without hitting a statue or a monument of some kind. I mean, every street, every building in this city, all the marble and the granite, the brick and the stone, they're trying to tell us something. They're saying, don't forget about us. Don't forget about the, the battles that we fought and the price that we paid for freedom. Don't let our sacrifice be in vain. You want to hear something interesting, Mr. Chairman? I have three friends that have a pretty good understanding of what's at stake here today. And the funny thing is, is they're not even from America. They're from faraway places like China, Iran, Africa. But they get it. They know what's at stake here. And maybe in order to understand how precious and fragile freedom really is, maybe, maybe you have to lose it. But you already know that. I mean, all of this, it's, uh, it's just a distraction. And I made it easy for you, didn't I? I bet your face just lit up when you realized that there was a pastor on the witness list. You knew that if you challenged scriptures, I would rise to defend them. It's kind of in my job description. You figured you'd run out the clock while we debated how, how women wore their hair 2,000 years ago, all in hopes that no one would realize that it's really their freedoms that are on the line. Not at all, sir. The issue here today is homeschooling. I wish it was, Mr. Chairman. I truly do. Now today, today was about turning neighbor against neighbor. That's part of your plan, isn't it? Keep us all divided so bit by bit we don't realize you're chipping away at our freedoms and liberties. You got us all talking about how Noah got all the animals on the ark. Meanwhile, you're crafting legislation that will allow the government to barge into our homes. Because it's all about power for you. And the only way that you can get more power is by taking it from someone else. And that would be all well and good if it wasn't for that pesky thing called the Constitution that keeps getting in your way. Now you hold on a second. No, I'm done talking to you. I'm talking to the people who elected you. Because as inconvenient as it is, sir, this is where your power comes from. You see those statues and those monuments out there? They say, you work for us. You are out of order, Mr. Hill. A government of the people, by the people, for the people. Order. You are out of order, Mr. Hill. Order. Bailiff. So stay out of our homes and churches, and yes, stay out of our children's education. Because what you call teaching, Mr. Chairman, is really social engineering. You are out of order, Mr. Your Hill. History is being rewritten. Biology is redefined, and right and wrong are erased. Our children don't belong to the government, and neither does our country. America belongs to its citizens, to each and all. To the farmers in Texas, to the window cleaners in New York, to the cabinet makers in Maine and the teachers in Oklahoma, to every man, woman, and child, it belongs to the people.